Welcome Clashers, thank you for checking out Clash of Clans Attacks. My name is Galadon and I will be your host today for this, the seventh episode of the Let's Play Together series sponsored by Feature Points. And a special thank you to Feature Points and you, the viewers, for making this series possible by downloading Feature Points using the referral code Galadon. You guys are furthering this series. If you've downloaded Feature Points already, please do go out, download another free app. It helps out the series. It also helps you to get closer to getting free gems in Clash of Clans. And if you haven't tried it yet, there's not a moment to waste. We've got free giveaways going on all the time. So let's get right down into today's episode. We are talking about the best Town Hall 6 attacking strategies, and I will show my personal favorite, what I think is the most effective, a little bit later in this episode. But right here, while reviewing this attack from Chief Caleb, we're going to talk about three critical tips for attacking at Town Hall 6, and that is the first, always deal with the clan castle. And this is especially important at Town Hall 6 in Clan War, when you've got a variety of Town Halls, you never know when your opponent has had a higher level Town Hall drop in some very dangerous troops, always best to get them out of the way before you start the rest of your attack. And as Caleb's Giants move in here, that brings us to point number two, beware splash damage. Those mortars and wizard towers can cause an incredible amount of damage to your troops if they are dealing with other structures and ignoring those specific defenses. You've got to get those out of the way early or at least heal your troops while they're being hit by those. Otherwise, you will soon find that you don't have any troops left to attack with. And now Caleb's troops are closing in on the town hall there. You can see the giants moving past it to the next defensive structure. And that brings us to the third and final point, which is bring cleanup troops. And while giants are very popular and very effective at town hall six, they don't do a lot of damage. They're very slow. They lumber across the battlefield there. And of course they focus on only defensive structures first. And if you don't bring enough other high damage troops, some wizards, archers, barbarians, you will soon find that you don't have enough troops to get through those other outside structures. But Caleb very wisely brought along some wizards and here he wraps up with a three star war victory. So this is actually Full Attack's second clan war. You can see we're about 45 minutes in. We are behind in stars, but we've carried out much fewer attacks. And here, Marcus 37, we've caught him doing his live war attack just at the very beginning. It looks like he's brought a bunch of giants, a bunch of wizards as well, a couple of lightning spells. Now, what I would have liked to have seen here was he used one of the lightning spells to wipe out the clan castle troops, but he's brought two. And two lightning spells at this level are ideal for taking out mortars. And you can see that centrally located mortar there. Had he dragged those clan castle troops over that mortar, dropped both lightning spells, he could have carried out both tasks at once, completely wiped out that mortar and the clan castle troops as well. Because you can see here the giants are moving in towards the center and he does drop his second lightning spell on the mortar, but again, not quite enough damage done there to take it out and that mortar is still doing damage. Now Marcus has a good troop composition here as well, so he is going to still overwhelm this base with all of those giants, the wizards, the archers working on that town hall now, the giants helping to distract those defenses, much like golems do at higher levels, while the other units come in from behind, do a lot of damage, take out those other structures, and it is not going to be long here before Marcus winds up this attack with another three-star victory for full attack. All right, so now we are going to get into the absolute best attacking strategy for Town Hall 6, at least in my opinion, and that is by far Giant Healer. And uh, it has to be done right here. We just happen to have an attack replay here from none other than Galidon from the Clan Full Attack. And you can see here I have begun by activating the Clan Castle, and now I am using my Barbarians and Archers to try to slowly lure these Clan Castle troops out over the higher level of the two mortars. You'll notice that they are not evenly upgraded that bottom mortar is higher level than the top one so we want to get it out of the way first I'm just very carefully and gradually trying to get the troops right over the mortar there we go that's about as close as I'm gonna get so I drop both lightning spells right on the mortar that is enough damage to take the mortar out and it gets every last clan castle troop out of the way as well and that is the first key in this a giant healer attack the second key and this is probably the most critical one and that is getting rid of the air defense but luckily at town all six a lot of players put that air defense out as an afterthought it's not well upgraded it's not well placed and you can see here I was able to get it down with just a couple of giants and a couple of archers and now I can send in those healers in behind the giants and there's not going to be a lot to stop them you 
You can see the giants moving in, taking out that wizard tower. I brought a few wall breakers just to open up some of these enclosures left and right, just to try to make the giants' job a little bit easier here. The last couple of wall breakers going down, opening up those walls, so the giants are going to have their way with those defenses. And again, I've brought supporting cleanup troops, a bunch of wizards in the clan castle as well. They're going to do a lot of damage to those other non-defensive structures, while the giants focus on those mortars, the cannons, the archer towers, the wizards, the archers, they're going to focus on everything else. We're going to work our way through this village and eventually get all the way around, losing some giants there to some spring traps, but they're going to go back to work on those defenses there. Not a lot of giants left around the outside, but notice how those wizards and archers have moved in unison with them. They're helping to clean things up. The giants working on that last wall enclosure to get to that mortar there. They are inside. The healers still healing away, and you can see the giants there targeting those cross sections those uh, junctions of walls and what that does is it enables them to get into more than one enclosure at a time which is actually very efficient. You can see again here the wizards wiping out the last of the storages there on the inside. The giants going to work on the very last defensive structure that does any sort of splash damage and again the giants completely healed now. Both of my healers are still up following my units around the village as they take out the very last structures and give me a three star clan war victory. So while our clan is currently focused on Town Hall 6, as is this portion of the Let's Play Together series, a few of our members have graduated to Town Hall 7 already, and that includes Brett COC. And I couldn't help but include this attack replay from our current clan war. This is the uh, current most heroic attack in this clan war, and I imagine it will hold up to be the most heroic when the end of this war does come around. You can see here, Brett COC has brought a mass dragon attack to this village with very under-upgraded uh, air defense there in the center. Uh, again, he's dealt with the clan castle first around the outside here, and uh, something unique about this attack is uh, he didn't bring any spells, didn't even bother to bring spells. He just brought eight level one dragons, a king, a couple of wall breakers, a few archers there and you can see because of the fact that the uh, air defenses have not been upgraded the uh, wizard tower as well the archer tower is relatively low level for a uh, town hall 9 these dragons are just going to do away with this entire village very overpowered attack probably one of the best attacks at town hall 7 and even town hall 8 for that matter is mass dragons and you can see here without even the use of any spells these dragons are going to move in deeply into this village and unlike balloons or giants, dragons will target the nearest structure rather than the nearest defensive structure, so they can be a little bit more difficult to control to predict where they're going, but that is going to be a non-issue in the case of this attack because there are no spells to worry about timing or placement. Those dragons are on autopilot now, and here's an interesting part of this attack. The wall breaker is creating this perfect little path for the king. He comes in, targets that air defense first, almost like it was planned this way, like he just commanded his king to go in, take out that last air defense, and that is what happens. The air defense goes down, and now the dragons, really nothing to stop them, even before the air defense was down. It wasn't a significant factor very under upgraded as are the wizard towers so dragons extremely dominant on a village layout like this uh, the air defense is not doing much of anything the mortars taking down the king but really the king is just an afterthought again the dragons are the ones that are doing the work here wiping out all of these structures and eventually we will see he's got several dragons left as they wind their way around through these very last gold mines and once the last structure goes down it is a heroic three-star attack for brett coc and full attack so indeed, his attack held out as most heroic and full attack won their second clan war, our second victory with over 100 clan war stars, but we did have 21 attacks not carried out. So we did have to do some cleaning of house and so we're down to 39 members. So as I release this video, we will change the clan status to invite only. We'll welcome some new members in here, fill right back up. Thank you guys again for watching. Please do check out my other videos. Please don't forget to download feature points with the referral code Galadon. If you already have it, be sure to download some new free apps as well. It really helps out. The series can help you get free gems. And of course, we're going to look at another friendly comment from somebody here. This time it is Jam1009 from the clan Test Clan. And I thought I'd go out and check out his clan, check out his base. Took me a little while to find the name Test Clan there. There was a few clans named that surprisingly. Uh, but there is Jam1009. We go check out his 
recently destroyed village. It looks like he got reverse town hall sniped. Uh, they sniped the rest of his village. Uh, it looks like it's because right here in the center, I'm guessing, yep, we've got all of his golden elixir right smack in the center, all together in the same enclosure. Uh, better to spread those out. You can see a, a builder frantically trying to work to rebuild his village. I hope that works out for you, Jam, but thank you again very much for the kind comment. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every last one of you, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks.